Holly the Twister Sister and today I've got another free balloon animal tutorial for you. This week we're going to make something for the super popular Monster High. So Monster High is really big right now and this is actually also a great one for Halloween if you don't want to do a Monster High version of it. Um, basically a skull with a bow and it's really cute and we're going to show you how to do this three different ways. So let's go ahead and get started with the first way which is going to be like a princess wand skull thing. So I like to do black and uh, hot pink for this one. I think the correct term is actually neon pink but I always call it hot pink. So I'll go ahead and get my black 260 here and I'm gonna blow this up all the way pretty much. I'm just leaving like a half inch maybe tip on the end. Just tie that off and do the same thing with your neon pink balloon. And we're gonna tie these two together right away from the very start. So just go ahead and take both nozzles and tie these guys together. Okay, so now we're gonna do a six petal flower and we're gonna be alternating the colors. There's a whole bunch of different techniques for doing this, but this is the way I usually end up doing it. So I just work on one color at a time and I'm gonna do three loops about that large. So there's one, two, and three, like that. And then do the same thing for the pink. So we're gonna do one, two, three loops, like that. And now once I have six loops, then I like to kind of arrange it so it's like a half and half flower, like this. And then all you have to do to get this to be alternating is you take these two here on the sides and you just flip them. I'm gonna take this and just flip it. It's easier when I have it a different position and then take these two and flip them like that and now your colors are alternating and you have a pretty little flower at the top here the rest of this we're going to do just like our princess wand which i have in another video my black is a little short so i'm just gonna pull on it to stretch it out and make these about even and then we're just going to spiral our balloons together twist them at the end so you get two little balls there and I just flip one through the middle there too seems like it helps secure it a little bit okay so this is going to be the base for our monster high wand and now we need the little head part so what you're going to need is a white five inch round with a raisin and a raisin is just a knot to a piece of knotted tied up balloon and I'm just going to slip that inside of our five inch round. Now this is easier and quicker if you use a white quick link but then you have the bow kind of right on the very top of the head where it looks a little bit better if it's off to the side but if you're in a hurry you're doing like crazy fast line work or something use the quick links and put the bow on top of the head it'll be fine. <laughs> okay so I've got a little five inch round here which I've blown up just about all the way. It's a little bit bigger than my palm. I'm just going to go ahead and tie that off and put that aside for a second and we're going to make a bow to go on top of her head. It's head. I don't know what you would call this. It or a girl. Is it a girl? I guess it is. Okay so I've got another hot pink balloon here and I'm just going to tie this off. And I'm just going to make a simple bow and to do that I'm going to start off with just a round bubble and make that a pinch twist and then I'm going to squeeze my balloon out and I'm going to make two loops nice and soft loops the same size if you can get them close to the same size as possible there we go this is going to be our bow um, and then I'm going to cut the rest of this off, but I kind of want to leave a decently long tail for me to work with. So I'll get rid of that. And then I have all of this to play with. So hold on to that for a second. Now grab the head and you're going to find your raisin inside of here. And again, I don't want it to be right on top of the head. So a little bit on top and off to the side. 
grab that raisin, twist your balloon a couple times around, holding on to it. And then to attach the bow, I'm going to take the tail, this long tail that we cut off on our bow, and I'm just going to wrap it around that raisin a couple times. And then I'm going to wrap it up around into my bow, maybe around the raisin a few more times, up into the bow. And that will attach your bow onto your head. And that's a pretty quick and simple way of doing that. So it doesn't take too much time if you're doing this at a birthday party or something. Okay. And then all we need to do is attach this into the center of our flower base here. So just go ahead and use that nozzle to wrap it down and around. Get it nice and firmly attached like so. Try to get that off the white background so you can see it. Okay. And then the last thing we need to do is draw the face on. And this can sometimes be the hardest part, drawing. Um, but I'll try to tell you how I do it. So the eyes are not really circular, but they're not exactly like square or anything else either. So when I draw the eyes, I try to think of making them look like pieces of coal because that's really what they remind me of. So that would be one eye. So you see it's not really a perfect circle. It's not really a square. It's like a piece of coal. So kind of like a rounded square, but just think of coal and you'll get it. So we've got two eyes there. And then you do like a triangle thing for the nose. that and then this one is gonna have eyelashes we're gonna do two eyelashes off to the side all right mine don't match but that's all right so there we go and that would be the finished product for the monster high princess wand and I told you I was gonna show you three ways with this so this is the princess wand. It's super easy to convert this into a headband or a bracelet, which I love doing. You've probably seen me doing it on all my videos lately. So if you wanted to convert this into a headband or a bracelet, just simply untwist all of this here. And all you have to do is literally just pop or get rid of both of these tails tie those together just to make sure that nothing will come undone. And then you've got two really nice long tails down here, which we can use to attach a hair band to go on your head or a little hair tie to make it into a bracelet, just like many of my videos lately. So that is three ways to make this cute little monster high, um, I don't know what you want to call it, skull thing. <laughs> so this is very popular with the girls right now. They especially love the hot pink and black color combination, but it's fun to do in other colors too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you do make this for yourself or any little girls that you may know, I'd love to see pictures. You can post those on my Facebook page. The link to that is in the description right below this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it and I'll keep making more stuff like this for you. And if you want to see more balloon related videos like this one, but you're not already subscribed to my channel, you might want to go do that real quick. That way you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support and I will hopefully get to see you again in next week's free balloon animal tutorial. Bye bye!